Hello and welcome to this week's video. Peter needs to go on a water run today. In order to do this he has to go a little bit up the canal, turn around and go the other way. Let's see how he gets on with doing all that. We're going on a water run today uh, because I've just run out of water. I've just about got out of the shower in time before the water gave out. And first of all, I've got to turn the boat around. Uh, as you can maybe see, the canal's not wide enough here, as it is in most places, for a 58-foot boat to turn around. So we have to find special points called winding holes. And luckily, there's one right in front of us here. So I'm just cruising slowly up there at the moment. Just checking if there's nobody coming up behind us. And we've got to swing the boat around. <clears throat> I've got to put the bow into into the into the hole itself, which is like a cutout in the bank. Um, it's always a good idea to do that because it can be shallow in there, and in this particular one, there's an awful lot of weed, which we've just discovered is called oh, I forgot pennywort. That's it, um, floating pennywort and it's causing a real problem along this stretch of the canal. But I'm going to put the bow around, so I'm putting the tiller hard over to, the, to my left, so you can see the boat is turning. I'm going to go a little bit, I'm easing off a little bit, because I want to go just a touch further over to get right into the V of the cut there. So I put the tiller over as hard as I can, starts to swing around. It's swinging around the centre point which is just in front of the solar panels. Uh, once we've got that rotation going I can leave the tiller where it is and I'm going to put it into reverse in a minute and we'll carry on turning but we won't be creeping forward. Because if you 
lower the paddles as well. The person before him who had gone through the lock left all the paddles up and both the gates open as he's mentioned. Once he's done that he has to go forward and open the paddles on the gates in front of him. This allows water to exit the lock and then when it's reached the lower level, level with the canal beyond, he can then go through. I wonder if he's got any problems ahead of him. Shall we wait and see? Peter pushing the boat back to the other side so he can get across the lock. You can walk across the lock gates, you can walk round, but in this instance as the boat had drifted apart, uh, across the canal, he just stepped on it and pushed away and got back to the other side via that route. He now has to take his rope and pull the boat back to the side that he's on. He's using the centre line. This is the rope that's attached to the middle point of his boat. Once it's back to where he wants it to be, he can then go forward to the forward paddles and the gates and do what he needs to over there. Here is Peter opening one of the paddles. going down. So he's just closing the paddles now. The boat's really gone down a lot now. Can you see the ladder on the left hand side and on the right actually? Well the boat has used these ladders to go up and down um, in order to get from the boat to the bank. However if we can avoid using the ladders we do because they end up being quite wet and slippery. And as Peter travels on his own a lot, such as in this instance, he doesn't really want to have any accidents. So Peter's now opening the gate, ready for the boat to go out. Oh, I think 
there's a problem. He's looking down behind the gate. I don't think he can open it anymore. So he's having to go and see what he can do about it with the other end of the beam. If that doesn't work, he's going to have to come back and get something from the boat in order to facilitate the opening of the gate. Perhaps there's something stuck behind it, between the gate and the wall of the lock. Let's wait and see what he does. I thought so. In this instance, Peter has to return to the boat to get possibly the barge hole or the boat hook in order to clear the blockage from behind the gate. What's he getting? Right, he's gone for the barge pole. So he puts that onto the bank, and although he doesn't like using the ladder particularly, he has to in this instance. Um, so he climbs up again, and then walks down to the other end in order to clear whatever it is that's there. As he mentioned, there's a lot of weeds in this canal, and hopefully that's not what this is, because it's quite a big job to get the weeds out. in what's going on. Okay, so he seems to have cleared whatever the blockage was and he has gone back to the beam to open the gate. No, I was mistaken, it's not working still. So he's gone back to try and clear whatever it is. Well, he doesn't seem to be lifting out weeds or anything. I think he's gonna try the gate again. There it goes. He's managed to clear whatever it was, which is a good thing. The next step is for him to go back and pull the boat out of the lock. He's dropping the paddles first so that it's left in the condition as to which he would like to find it before he goes back to pick up the rope and bring the boat out of the lock. Now he's left the barge pole on the side of the lock on the bank and he will have to go back and get that at some point, but maybe not just yet. Right, you can see the rope moving and there's Peter taking the rope and moving forward of the boat. He's just pulling it out of the lock. It's quite straightforward to pull a narrow boat. It's a huge chunk of metal, but even I can move it. If you just get it going, then that's the hardest part. But once you've got it going, the boat will use its own momentum to move on the water. Really clever stuff, I think. So Peter now has to manoeuvre the rope over the rails of the gate. You just saw him putting it over the top there. And then there are some steps down the other side and he can walk down the steps. And usually he would um, go down the steps and he would just step onto the boat. He's got to go back for the barge pole in this instance. So the boat is drifting smoothly out, as you can see beautiful sun rays on the top of the boat as well. And there you can see the angle of the steps just at the end of the wall there. Now Peter will have to slow the boat down in order to um, make it stop so he can get the barge pole and return back to the boat. At this point the boat is under the bridge and just ahead to the left you can see where the marina entrance is. That's where Peter's going to get the water. So once the boat has stopped Peter will have to go back, get the barge pole and return back to the boat and put the barge pole back into position. once you leave a lock. Thankfully it's a beautiful sunny day as he mentioned at the beginning, so cruising this short distance is a real pleasure. There's quite a few boats moored along here, 
that's not surprising considering we're in the middle of a lockdown and boats are advised not to cruise it unless it's essential. And of course, getting water is essential. Now this marina has quite a wide entry. That's unusual. Normally they are really, really tiny and maneuvering is difficult. But in this instance, Harefield Marina has a wide entrance and Peter just has to pull up on the left here. Now, just as he's pulling in here, you can see a man there with a machine and he's just started it up and is flattening the gravel on the path, which means that um, Peter recording any sound is going to be really difficult to hear. But it's making a thundering noise. is just from the pipe over there. There's a standpipe there. And once Peter has moored the boat up, he will then attach the hose from the front of the boat to the water pipe, the tap, and he will then fill up his tank with water. Which, as you heard, it emptied all the way down um, while he was in the shower, which is not the best thing to happen, really. But that's the way it did. Luckily, he was able to finish his shower um, before the water actually ran out. I hope you've enjoyed this video of Peter doing a bit of cruising on a lovely sunny day in order to get some water. Please consider liking, subscribing and sharing this video. I hope you found it useful it's a bit of interesting information, I think. Thank you to all my subscribers and to you for watching. And until next week and next week's video,